again. Later, it was abandoned by the contractor. Now, there is a massive hole without warning signs. This is where 12-year-old Loiso Mkoteni drowned. Claudia Mlapo was the first on the scene. I saw that little boy lying in a dead direction. And that's when Kifuni Lamaponisa shaking, angry and bitter. The grade 5 learner had gone to play when he fell into the stream. The family blames the municipality. Had they covered this or put visible warning signs, our child would have never died that way. But it's still not caught on off. And children are seen scrambling across. Residents have complained in vain. We set a meeting and sit down and talk about this bridge until we reach an agreement that uh, the road contract will start on the 1st of August 2016. That means this year. That hasn't happened. There was a contractor that was initially appointed that has to be removed from the site due to other reasons citing to delays on completion of that road. And when they demolished that, it was to, 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 to put another bridge which is bigger than what was already there and existed. But because of the delays on, and the poor performance of the contractor, we had to terminate the contract. Do you admit that you have failed the community? Yes, the community has suffered its effect, we know. And no one has suffered more than the Mkoteni household, for there will always be a bridge and troubled waters. Mara Gaita Matabe, SABC News, working in the south of Houting.